guys and welcome to your collective tarot messages for today. Um, these messages here are going to be general so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So let's go ahead give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming up for you guys today. Okay, death. This card here is urgently um, asking you to release someone's energy or to release um, something or someone that I feel like you're possibly holding on to. Um, I feel like some of you are on the cusp of a massive transformation and a massive change when it comes to either love, romance, career, um, personal endeavors here. And in order for you to sort of, in order for you to welcome change, transformation or transitioning or a new cycle, um, you have to let go of the old phase, you have to let go of an old energy here, something that I feel like is nearing, in it, nearing its expiration date. Um, it can be the end of a relationship for some of you, the end of a relationship, the end of a career, um, some sort of old belief or old holding patterns that I feel like are no longer working out for you. So recognize something that I feel like you have outgrew or it's outdated um, and it's no longer working for you here. Some of you are clinging to the past. Stop clinging to the past because it's only going to block your blessings. Um, some of you are holding on to something that I feel like is only a shell of what it used to be. So like a relationship that has that you've outgrown or it's expired for you. And some of you are holding on to something that there's only remnants or fragments of it from what I can see. So lose this already losing energy. Release this already losing energy. Release it. Okay, Ace of Wands, there we go. Aces do usher in new beginnings. Okay, so for a lot of you, I do feel like there is... Some of you, I feel like, are blocking your blessings. You're preventing this very thing or this very person or this very energy from manifesting into your life because um, this is the, the hand of the divine, the hand of the universe here. And it's offering you a new opportunity, a new chapter, a new chance a new beginning but some of you are not able to see that because I feel like you're holding on to you're holding on so tightly you're like clutching onto something that needs releasing some of you get ready to welcome something new into your life whether it's a new cycle a new energy a transformation, a change, a rebirth of some sort, or an awakening, or a new chapter, a new relationship, a new career. Um, it's the inception of something new here, guys. The inception of something new. Open your heart to this new beginning. Do not block your blessings here. Some of you, I feel like, are being compelled to put something new out into the world. So, for those of you creatives out there, I feel like you're giving birth to something here. And you're ready to put it out into the world. You're compelled to. Something you're going to be creating now is going to have boundless, endless potential. The Ace of Cups. Wow, look at that. An, emotion, an emotional awakening of some sort. Some of you, I feel like, are awakening from a slumber here. There is something here that's been laying dormant inside of you, and I feel like this very thing is awakening here. Tuning into your heart and your heart's desires here is going to awaken some powerful magic here and some powerful new beginnings. 
you're also receiving guidance. I'm getting the message that a lot of you here are receiving guidance um, from your higher self. From your higher self or from the universe, the divine cosmos here, the tarot guides here. So pay attention here, pay attention to the guidance or uh, to the messages that you're receiving here. Check in with your feelings as well, make sure you're not repressing anything here. Some of you, you're being too protective, um, you're being way too protective of a very tender heart. Some of you need to forgive yourself or forgive a situation or forgive a past hurt. You need to heal a situation. Forgiving a situation, forgiving yourself or forgiving another's energy here is going to set you free. And... It will allow for the love that you are seeking to come into your life here. The love that you're wanting to manifest and the love that you're seeking here to enter your life. Okay, judgment. New beginnings. New beginnings or new endings. Nothing really ends. It begins again in a new way where there is death. There is also rebirth here. Some of you are being called here. You're being called. It's an emotional awakening here. Um, I do feel like the universe, the divine, the cosmos is trying to guide you and is trying to communicate something to you here, something of um, importance here, something that I feel like will help you, will help you heal a situation or will help you guide you out of a situation here. For some of you, the message here, judgment wants you to know is you need to raise your vibration raise your vibration guys I'm picking up very strongly that some of you I feel like just going back to healing a situation or healing a hurt here um, forgiveness is necessary necessary in order to expand evolve and grow here Forgiveness of yourself or forgiveness or of another's energy. That will also help with the raising of the vibration. swords some of you need to take some time out here a time of deep rest a time of meditation a time of withdrawal here taking some time out from your current reality from your current set of circumstances here is necessary once again the notion of healing is coming up again some self love here There are a lot of you who are being called to nurse your wounds, who are being called to nurse your wounds because they're still festering and they're bleeding into the present here. And they're bleeding into your current uh, situations. Um, and a lot of you are being called upon here to, to heal. Uh, again, I'm getting healing. Healing, meditation here, rest. Finding peace within a conflict. Finding peace with intention here. Um, some of you need to transform your current experiences here as well. And some of you really need to take the time out to 
uh, work on yourself, do some self-healing, some self-love, because I'm getting that that is going to help you with the transformation here, so that you become whole and you're ready to rise here. Some of you are on the verge of burning out here. Um, some of you I feel like with your energy, whether it's mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual, you're on the verge of burning out here. So it's important that um, this is a very real message that you need to slow down, that you need to take, take some time out. Um, you need to do some healing here. Something needs to be healed. What needs to heal here, guys? What needs to heal? And how much time do you feel like um, you want to give? How much time, how much of your attention do, do you want to give to this healing process? Okay, I'm just pulling out the last card for you today. Two of Cups here. This card whispers of love and romance. You're being drawn into someone's gravitational pull. You're being drawn into someone's energy field. There's a strong gravitational pull. You're being drawn into something. The, the, the people or the things that you are drawn to are not coincidences here. For a lot of you, I feel like I just want to tie this in to new beginnings here. It does signify a new relationship, a romantic relationship, perhaps a professional relationship here, a business partnership here. Um, for a lot of you, it is the beginning of a new friendship. But this is the pairing of whether it's with regards to love, romance, business, um, friendship here. This is the pairing of two perfectly matched souls here. Um, that has the potential to, I feel like, um, develop very magically and has the potential to form a very um, significant, very profound union here. So two perfectly matched souls. So you're being drawn to something or you're being drawn to someone. And whatever this is for you or whomever this person's energy is to you, um, this is like a perfect union. This is a very strong unison here. The love drug, um, the oxytocin here is being emitted with the energy here. So whatever, like if this is a person or if this is a place or a, or a thing, um, you're going to be experiencing very strong feelings and emotions of love here. A lot of you are also going to be addicted to the feeling that it gives you here whether it's a romantic relationship or like a business partnership or like an ID so for a lot of you I feel like the mess the question you need to ask yourself is are you open to forming soul ties connections whether in love business romance friendships here Okay, guys, and these are the messages I have for you today. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please do show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages uh, throughout the week, so do stay tuned. Thank you guys again. Um, bye for now.